we're doing the very first ever whiskey bonded whiskey hunting. We're in Reno and we're gonna go check out Lee's Discount Liquor because that's what you guys said we should do. So here you go. Whiskey Bonded Jr. What's up guys? All right, let's go check it out. See what, see what we see what we see no there's a little well heaven's door cast strength vegas strong must be a pick of some kind not a bad price though the redwoods are a little more reasonably priced oh the redwood empire Woo, gotta shout the redwood empire yeah all under 30 dollars not bad not bad so is that would that, would that technically qualify as a slam dunk it's definitely heavy dipped so I guess the first thing that we should ask, or maybe we should get, I don't know, is like, that's a slam dunk, right? Maybe we should pick up those, they're supposed to be rare. The selection here isn't humongous, but they always have something kind of unusual. There's a holiday wood for reserve bottle. The old Freight Ranch, because we're in Nevada. Do you see something that I should have grabbed? Yeah, little horse soldier, give a shout out to horse soldier. The good cause, good people. Oh no. The Nemesis bottle. Here. Size comparison. What's that? What do you got? What is it? So, John Rich got a little, uh, we found a Redneck, Redneck Riviera actually signed by John Rich. He must have snuck in and done. There's a few of those on the shelf for $19.99. You might have to buy that just to, uh, just to say we got the John Rich signed bottle. He's got a whole lot of High West here, which is kind of nice to see, including the big bottle of Double Ride. But I am noticing right now what? There's a find right there. That might be one we might have to get. You don't see the uh, John Bowman single barrel very often, and when you do see it, it's kind of expensive back home, so that might be one we'd have to grab. You know how I love toppers? The uh, the dead guy whiskey, we will not be buying that, but cool topper, cool topper. Oh. There's quite a bit of stuff. This looks interesting. Oloroso wheat whiskey from Middle West Spirits. If anybody's had that, it's a little spendy, but if anybody's had that, I'd be curious to hear what you think. There's the ammunition, we shout out for the ammunition. I've not had this one. If anybody's had this one, maybe uh, give me a shout. It's not very expensive, but I've not heard much good about the Widow Jane uh, tall bottles. It's always interesting to uh, whiskey hunt or liquor hunt in other states uh, because you do see things differently. Prices are different, availability is different, so. Thank you, the store. Oh, Lord. You want, to, you want to look at the old smoky flavored whiskey? Okay, hey, listen. How, how far is it back to the house? Two hours. Two hours? So that's, a, that's gonna take a long time to walk that far. Hey, what do you got? Wait, what do you got? What do you got? No, no, put it, put it back. Put it back. I tried it. This is especially in a In a less serious part of the, uh, the whiskey hunting, popcorn, peanut, caramel. I didn't notice the, the wicked pickle. There's a lot of these flavored whiskeys now we get. Oh, we found yeah, the bullet. What is that? Peanut butter and jalapeno. Peanut butter and jalapeno. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Ooh, oh, there's the bird dog. The bird dog peach did well in our uh, in our best of the worst, didn't it? It's a whole lot of bird dog. We got to get out of the flavored whiskey section for this. Here we go. Here's some Irish, some Irish whiskey. There's the old Sexton, which is a great value. Really delicious for what you pay for it. Glendalough. Glendalaw. Saying that right? Probably not. Hey, what are you, what are you looking at there? What you... Okay, we're gonna have to revoke the title of Whiskey Bonda Jr. if you're gonna be overlooking at the Jägermeister. Oh. Say A say hey to all our Canadian friends up north. Not a big fan of their whiskey, but that's fine. Little scotch. Some compass box. Not a ton of scotch selection here, but a little um, Abelauer. I'll tell you what, I'll say the ones that I know how to say. Uh, this is one that I really like that gets overlooked a lot. That's got up a lot in price though. That used to be a $46 bottle. Sherry cast finished, really, really good. I don't know if it's still a buy at $69, but it was at 46. So, so Mrs. Whiskey Bonded has clued in. Maybe you guys can give us a little bit of 
This Pendleton Rye, it's a 12 year rye in the beautiful bottle, I think is what's grabbing the attention, but don't know anything about that one for $41. If you guys know anything about this, maybe put it in the comments. Okay, so for the best thing that we've seen in the store, uh, if you don't put price into consideration, they do have a Buffalo Trace antique. So that's interesting to see that here, but as you can see, it is mightily marked up. So probably, I don't know, would you guys pay $800 for that? I don't think I would, and I'm not going to right now. All right, so today we're just gonna opt to do the, the silly, uh, fun things with the John Rich signed Rennick Riviera, that was $20, and you gotta take the Slam Dunk Maker's Mark bottle. It happens to be a cast drink, but you gotta take the Slam Dunk, it's pretty sweet, that was 40 bucks. So that's all we're getting today. Didn't see anything else I couldn't live without. Thank you.